Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see the one more basic concept in our computers that is a file extension concept. So we know that uh, in computer, uh, we are creating files and we are storing the files. So every file will be having two parts. One is a file name and another one is a file extension. So in order to know that file, we are giving some file name and based upon the type of data, there will be a file extension. Right. So mainly this file extension will help the computer to open the file using a specific application. So for example, if you consider some audio files, so the computer will know about that extension, will we'll see that extension and based upon the extension of the file, the computer will know that that file should be opened in the media player. So if it is an image, it should be opened in an image editor. Right. If it is a C, C programming, any programming file, so it should be opened in a compiler. So like that, based upon the file extension, the computer will know to open the file in specific application. And also the file extension will also help the user to know the type of data available in that file without opening that particular file. So for every file, for every file, there will be the extension, file extension. So now in this session, we'll see a different file extensions, right? So first let me list out the file extensions and then I will show you how to know the file extension, right? So, and also how to search the files based upon the file extension. So first category, is, uh, let's, let's go with the programming languages. So dot Java, if any file is having the extension dot Java, that implies the data is Java files. It's a Java file. Okay. Also, dot class. Dot class is also for Java file. Okay. And similarly, dot C. If it is a dot C extension, it's a C programming file. C programming file. Okay. If it is a CPP, if it is a CPP, it's a C plus plus programming file. Right. And if it is a Python, it's a dot py is the extension for the python files and dot php is nothing but for php files and dot html and dot html are nothing but web pages okay that the content is a web page it, it can be opened in the notepad or it can be opened in the web browser so dot htm is also for a web page web page right and similarly dot cs is a C sharp file, C sharp, C sharp file, right? And also dot CSS, which is nothing but a cascading style sheet, cascading style sheet, right? So this is for uh, creating some beautifications on the web pages, right? So this is also related to the web pages. And these are all the source code. So if you uh, frequently use the programming files, right? So I will go with the documents so doc so all these are coming with the ms office right so dot doc is for a document word document okay we can say this is as a word document and similarly the latest version of uh, uh, ms office will get dot doc x this is also a word document right similarly dot xls is nothing but a workbook it's a workbook excel workbook okay so we can write it as uh, excel workbook similarly the latest versions will get x l s x it is also a excel work so we can know with the help of the extension we can know that file is consisting of data related to the excel similarly dot ppt which is nothing but a powerpoint powerpoint file Similarly, dot ppt x, the latest version of the PowerPoint file, PowerPoint for the presentations, right? And uh, then dot csv, dot csv is nothing but a comma separated variable length file, okay? Variable length file, and this can be opened in excel okay this can these these files can also be opened in excel and dot txt which is nothing but a text of files text files so this can be edited in the notepad itself so now uh, whatever the environment we are using this is a notepad and all these files will be can be with the extension dot txt 
and similarly dot, similar to the dot txt there is a one more thing called rtf which is nothing but a rich file text rich text file rich text file okay so this is one more thing the rich text format and then uh, there are two more files that is dot uh, rar which is nothing but a compressed files okay compressed files this can be opened with by using the win rar okay win rar and similarly dot zip is also compressor so if you want to compress two or more files in order to reduce the file size we will go with the dot rar or dot zip right and next one is a dot pdf so dot pdf is it's so dot pdf which is a portable document format portable document format so we need we need to open these pdfs in by using the adobe uh, uh, reader or uh, nowadays we can also open this one by using the browser also right so portable document format this is a non editable format non editable format so we can't edit the document if the file is in of dot pdf and similarly there is a image files dot bmp it's a bitmap image bitmap image so this can be opened by using the paint application right so in the previous session we have seen about the paint application so we can open these files by using the paint similarly dot png png is also for image representation portable network graphics network graphics right so this is can be also be used in now open in paint application next dot jpg or a dot jpeg okay so this stands for a joint photograph photographic experts group experts group so either it may be dot jpg or dot jpeg both are equal right so both are same dot jpg or dot jpg jpg and the next one uh, it's a dot gif so gif is also the animated format of the image right so graphics interchange format interchange format so this is for animated images animated images similarly dot psd so these are the files created or designs created in the photoshop photoshop right so then uh, next uh, audio video files that is dot avi so which is nothing but audio video audio video interface okay interleave interleave right and similarly dot mov mov it's nothing but a movie file we can have the video file okay movie file and then it's a qt dot qt is also for movie file so it's called a quick time quick time audio video file quick time audio video file right next dot wave dot wave file is it's a sound file music file okay music file the only audio can be uh, saved in this wave file and similarly dot mp3 it's also an audio file this is an extension for audio file next dot mp4 dot mp4 or dot mpeg dot mp4 or dot mpeg it's a moving pictures experts group experts group so this is also for both the audio and video file these are extensions used for both the audio as well as video file so these are the frequently used files the extensions for frequently used files right so hope you understood this files ex file extensions now how can we know these file extensions if you observe here so just go to the file explorer just go to the file explorer and i will show you so let us take this this folder i am having a lot of files here 
So here you can observe there are no file extensions. So I'm having only the file names, right? So go to the file, ex file explorer and go to the view. You can observe the menu bar, go to the view and click on here the file name extensions. There will be three checkboxes, hidden items, file name extensions and item checkboxes. So here you just click on the file name extensions. So you can observe here there, there is a file extensions appeared at the end of the file, right? So you can observe, if you uncheck this file name extensions, there will be only file name. If you check this file name extensions, you can see .mp4, .mp4, .jpeg, .txt, .jpeg. So these are the files with file extensions, right? So this is how we can enable the file extensions for the files. And next, how to search the files with the help of file extensions. So you can go with the file explorer by clicking on start button as well as the E, you can find the quick access. Here you can find, you can click star.jpg and go to the search, you can find the JPG files available in your system or a laptop, right? So if you go with the dot, if you go with the dot txt, you will get all the txt files available in your laptop. Or simply you can go to the start and here just go with the star.jpg so that all the jpg files will be available here. So you can observe here, right? So all the jpg files will be available here. So if you want to get the text files, go to the star.txt. So which is a text files. Okay, you'll get the list of text files available in our system. So this is how we can search the files with respect to the file extension and also this is the way we can enable the file extensions. So while uh, seeing the file itself, we can know the type of a file, type of data by clicking, by checking, I mean, by uh, uh, selecting this file name extension checkbox. Okay, you can observe here. So only file names are available. So if you go with the file name extension, so you'll get the extension C, dot C, dot C, DOCX, dot JPG, dot TXT, dot MP3. Like this, we can enable the file then extensions right so hope you understood this one so let's stop here and if you're having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i'll try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much